In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin by WooSuite in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and download the Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our dashboard, and now the next step is to go ahead and upload the plugin in which you just downloaded. So you navigate to Plugins, Add New. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. If this is your first WeSuite product, it will automatically redirect you to the activate um, menu. So you just go ahead and enter in your key and then we can go ahead and activate the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin, which is currently here. OK, so currently I've already installed it. So now I just need to go ahead and activate it. So I'll just click this to on and now it's activated so we can click this manage button here if you don't see the manage button you can refresh the page and you will see the manage button and you'll also see the dynamic pricing rules menu here as well okay so i'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we can do with this plugin okay so currently we're on the global settings page and in this particular tab we can set um, global order total meaning for example if i click this option here so we can give customers a discount based on their cart total based on the category total so if, let's say for example if they spend um, a particular amount in the accessories category then maybe we want to give them a discount um, for doing so okay so we'll set all those type of discounts on a global level let's say we wanted to give um, first time buyers a 10 percent discount if they spend over a hundred dollar with us okay so in this admin title here so this is just for internal purposes so we can just give it a name so when you've got multiple rules you know exactly what each rule is for okay so we can say um, new customers discount so I've just named mine um, new customers discount over $100, okay? And I'm gonna base mine on car total to keep it super simple. And this particular discount, um, where it says applies to, we'll just select everyone, and then we'll just enable um, first time buyers only, meaning only new customers will be able to redeem this particular discount. And we can also schedule this discount to run in a particular date. So we can say from the 1st of January to the 31st of January okay so it'll automatically run within this time period okay and the minimum amount the need to spend is a hundred dollars and we can leave this blank because we don't want to add a maximum amount on there because it doesn't really matter in this case and then we'll just give them a percentage discount for um 10 percent if we want it as well we can create multiple different um cart total rules okay so we'll just click add a pricing group here and then we can add as many as we want as well we can rearrange it to um, specify the priority of the rule i'm just going to x this off okay so let's navigate to the checkout tabs okay and then here we can add um, various checkout fees onto the customer's order so for example again similar to before the title is just for internal purposes only and it's private it won't be displayed to anyone but admin um, this however where it says checkout fee label this will be displayed to the customer so let's say for example if you wanted to add a handling fee then here you just name it handling fee or we can say um, a payment gateway fee or something like that right okay so in this scenario we're going to add a payment gateway fee and um, we'll ignore this where it says applies with coupon because we'll actually be adding a fee onto the um, order so we'll say um, the fees will be based on the cart item right and it will be a fixed adjustment and let's say we'll add let's say we'll add one dollars for each item that this customer purchase and we'll trigger this rule if they're using let's say paypal for example so these are the two um, payment options i've got so you can imagine this is one of your payment methods so we'll say direct bank transfer so we'll add a fee of um one dollars extra for each item that they've got in their cart if they choose this particular payment method so this is super useful if you want to let's say for example a particular payment um, provider charges you more fee to process that transaction then maybe you want to pass that um, extra charge on to the customer okay so this is how you'd do so or if for example you just wanted to add a handling fee so again you can name this whatever you want um, handling fee okay in this case we're going to base it on um, the cart item again yeah we can leave this the same so we can say um, 
a fixed price of um, one dollars per item so and then here we'll say shipping method and then we can basically select the shipping method so if a customer checks out using the flat rate shipping method the handling fee will be charged we can just basically select all the methods in which we want the flat fee to be applied to okay so that's our checkout fees um, option here so this is how you'd add extra charge um, on the customer's um, purchase okay so we'll navigate to roll base discount okay so with roll base pricing it's quite simple so let's say for example for admin we wanted to offer a set price discount um, for admin so for all products the admin will get ten dollars off for example okay that's the price discount or we can set it to a percentage base so they'll get 10% um, of all items on our site okay so this is role based discount in its basic form so category based um, discount so again it's very similar to role based discount this is in its simplest form we can do more complex things but we'll get to that in a second okay so let's say for example if you just wanted to run a flash sale for example let's say um, you want to offer 10% discount um, for all items within the accessories categories. This is where we'll quickly do so um, on a global level. So all items within this um, category will be on sale um, with a 10% discount. So that's how we'll do this here. Okay, so if we want to take it a step further, we'll navigate to advanced rules. So again, with admin title or title, um, get used to that phrase. That's just for internal purposes only. And it's just to help you um, remember what each rule is doing. At a higher level so when you quickly glance the rule you know exactly what that rules for okay okay so just name it something memorable okay so you just add um, your title there for internal purposes and then here where it says quantities based on so we can choose the cart um, sum or the cart item okay so in this particular scenario I've created a rule here which says if a user purchase any products within a music category we will give them a discount within the music category. And this rule will apply to everyone. We can set it for guest users, which are logged out users or to a specific um, user role or even a specific user as well. Okay, currently just set to everyone. And then here we can restrict this to first time buyers only. Okay, and what this rule does is it will check your store's database against the email that the customers entered and to see if there's a match for that particular email. If there's a match, then they won't be able to redeem the offer. If there isn't a match, then they will be able to redeem that offer, meaning they're a new customer, right? Okay, and then processing type, we've got a few options here. So we can select um, bulk discount. We can select tiered pricing. We can select special offer, which is like you buy one, get one free, buy free, get one free, and so on, okay? And then we've got our bundled um, discount, which is like get free items within this category for $30, for example. Okay, so that's a different processing mode. Here, we're just creating a simple bulk pricing discount. Okay, and then we've also got the option to apply this particular promotion when a user enters a particular coupon. Okay, so currently it's set without coupon. If we set with coupon, then this rule will only trigger when a user enters a particular coupon. Again, I've got a different video explaining more about tying a particular discount to a coupon. So I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll also add a pop-out card here as well. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna set this to without coupon. And just like before, we can schedule this discount to run in a particular time frame. Okay, so here we've got a rule which says if you purchase one item, so one to let's say five, you'll get a let's say a percentage discount of five. And if you purchase more than six items, so let's say the minimum six and above, and we'll use this asterisk sign for above, then we'll give a percentage discount of eight percent, for example. Okay, and then if you wanted to add another tier, you can just click this plus icon here or click the minus icon to remove it as well. And similar to earlier, we can add a completely different pricing group targeting a completely different customer segment. Okay, so we can have multiple different offers running. So we can have an offer for um, first time customers. We can offer, have an offer for customers with a specific user role, a specific customer and so on. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now and then we'll navigate to where it says export. Again, I'm not gonna go too much into the export and I'll link another video to that as well. 
Okay, so we've got two molds here, so we can select bulk product and then export. So if you select bulk product, this will basically export all the products that you've got on your site, and then you can manually edit it in um, Excel or a similar program, and then re-upload it with your pricing rules attached. Or you can select um, existing rules, and what this will do is, let's say, for example, on the product level, you've created a particular discount for several of your products. We can select existing rules here, and it will only ex Port, um, products that's got a pricing rule attached to it okay so that way you can quickly edit those particular rules and then to import it's dead simple you just select the file and then just press import okay so when we navigate to options okay so we can enable the amount saved so we can show customers the amount that they've saved we can um, enter in a prefix here for the amount for the format sorry we can select the amount or the percentage. So let's say, for example, if they save 10%, we can show the 10% um, sign, or if they save $5, we can show $5 and so on. And then we can choose where we want to display the amount saved. So we can show it on a product page, on a cart page, and on the product and cart page. Okay, I'm gonna disable this one now. Okay, so let's say, for example, you've got an item on sale using the default WooCommerce sale um, entry. So let's click on this um, just to demonstrate what I mean. And then let's click edit. Okay, so WooCommerce allow you to add a regular price and a sale price. Okay, so we can add like a sale price here. Um, what this option does in the back end is if you've entered in a sale price on a particular product, so to avoid it being double discount, will enable this option. Let's say, for example, an item's already been reduced. We want to ignore that product um, from our rule. Okay, so we'll enable this option here. And then this option says hide um, our pricing table on the product page. Not too sure if you notice this pricing table here. Okay, so this pricing table is informing customers that if they um, add more than five um, quantities, they'll get a $10 discount per item. Okay, similar to the pricing table that we just saw on a product page, we've also got the option to hide um, the order total pricing table from the product page as well. We can hide it from the cart page also as well. Okay, so if you didn't want to display um, any of these tables, then we'll just enable those options there. Okay, so now navigating to the product page, we've just had a look at um, creating different rules on a global level. Now we'll have a look at how you'd create it on a product level, okay? So on a product level, we'll just navigate to where it says price and discount rules here. And as you can see, you should be quite familiar with this interface now. Okay, so where it says apply, so we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. And whether it's a first time buyer, we can select, um, Okay, so this is a simple product. So variation quantities, and it doesn't make sense here. So we can say product quantity and variation quantity. It doesn't make sense here. To keep things super simple, usually you just select product quantity here, meaning the rule that we're creating will only apply to this particular product that we're editing. Okay, and then rule processing mode. Here we can select um, bulk, bulk pricing tiered pricing and special offers so buy one get one free and so on okay so on the front end you just saw a bulk item discount so let's create a special offer discount so again dates we get to schedule um, when it will run from okay so we'll just leave it blank to run indefinitely okay so we're going to create a simple buy one get one free offer for this particular product okay so we'll say if the user purchase one they'll receive one item at a an additional item at a percentage discount of a hundred percent which basically means they're getting that second item for free okay so we'll just update this product let's view page okay and then here we can see our buy one get one free um, offer. So if we add two items to cart, right, we're going to pay for one and we're going to get the second one for free. Here you can see um, that our total is actually $60 because we're getting the second one for free and there's two items in our cart. Okay, and that's just a quick overview of the WooCommerce Dynamic Pricing and Discount Rules plugin. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.